Following the path of Jesus Christ, the lives of the Redemptorists are simple. As we start our day with our Lord and Redeemer. Living in today's chaotic society, everyone needs direction in life. Whether to become a doctor, a lawyer, or follow the vocation of the priesthood. The Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer was founded by St. Alphonsus in 1732. Its mission is to follow the examples of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer, by preaching the word of God to the poor, as he declared of himself. He sent me to preach the good news to the poor. In one of his general audiences, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI praised St. Alphonsus Liguri as a model for the new evangelization. May this great doctor of the church, venerated also as a pattern of modern theologians, help us to respond even more fully to God's call to grow in holiness and inspire in priests, religious and laity, a firm commitment to the new evangelization. We need good men to work in the field of our Lord. As Jesus has taught us, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. I remember someone asked me, what are the goals of the Redemptors? Well, our goal is really simple. We should follow Jesus Christ to preach the good news to the poor all over the world. A few brothers and I just came back from our mission trip in Thailand, and this was such a remarkable experience. The brothers and the priests of the Redemptorist were sent to serve everywhere, even the poorest and most needed parts of the world. While serving in Thailand, they humbly taught, prayed, and worked side by side with the village people, a beautiful image fulfilling the gospel as they listened to their cause. Redemptors have tried to go to places where the church can't go or won't go. Sometimes that's a very poor area. Sometimes it's places like young people where the church does not have much success. We try to announce the good news in a friendly and simple style. We need more men to answer and follow Jesus Christ. The existence of our congregation has a specific purpose, to be in mission in the midst of the most abandoned. In our community, a person doesn't have to become a priest in order to become a redemptorist. One can live a simple yet extraordinary life as a brother through their missionary zeal by praying and supporting for evangelization. The priests represent the divine image of Jesus Christ as we deliver the gifts of the sacraments to all the faithful. The priests bring Christ to people through the sacraments the gifts that allow the Christian to fully participate and be closer to God. Whether through baptism, as they are welcomed to the life of the church, or through the sacrament of confirmation, as they are concealed in the power of the Holy Spirit. By the sacred power, the priests representing Christ connect and bring God's love to the newlyweds at the altar. The Redemptorist priests live together in a community showing great examples of the loving and harmonic relationship with God. I don't need to search anywhere. This is my vocation, my calling, my life. Playing common sports together. <laughs> studying and working together for ongoing knowledge enrichment. There is no better way for the Redemptress to praise the Lord than singing for God at every Mass teaching young children Bible study, or giving retreats to nourish the young souls throughout the parishes everywhere. The unique part about the Redemptors is that we really reach out to people in the community when they are searching for their calling. So Chad, I'm very interested in registering for the Come and See Week, and I really want to know, I really want you to tell me about the life of a priest. Jonathan, the life of the priest is a life of sacrifice and service to our Lord Jesus Christ and His people. We are the instruments of the church. Through the life of the priest, 
one can really see Christ is truly present in our life. Our vocation is a loving and dedicated relationship with God and with others. It is through the Eucharist, the daily Mass, and praying that make the life of the priest extraordinary, a truly supernatural experience that touches people in their everyday lives. With that, I would like to invite you to the Common Seas Week to be able to witness and experience that relationship with God and His people. So Father, uh, how has being a priest uh, and helping other people had a significant impact on your life? Yes, being a priest and helping other people have a significant things in my life because through the daily mass, the priests have the power to pray for all people everywhere. We are the special messengers of Christ and we help reconnect people to God and deliver them the nutrition that they need. We counsel and support all the faithful in their downtime. And we bring God's healing power at the time of their illness and deliver them to God in their final hours. So what are some ways that uh, we can promote and support uh, vocations to the priesthood and religious life? Well, I think one of the great ways that people promote vocations is within their own families. I come from a large family. I'm the oldest of 13. And I can remember us praying every night with my father and mother. We would pray the rosary together. And at the end, my father would pray a prayer for vocations. And it told all of us that if God was calling us, then it was okay with him, our dad. I think other ways is by encouraging young people to be open to the call, because many young people are being called today. I believe this, but I think they're timid about responding. Our doors are always open. Please come and be part of the church's missions. For more information about the Redemptorist Missionary Vocations, please pray and give the Vocations Office a call at 832-670-0145.